Hi guys, I hope you're so well. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. If you're new here, it would mean so much to me if you could click the subscribe button and be part of the M Shell family. So today it is time for another Charlotte Tilbury review, a very exciting one actually. It is the launch of Charlotte's brand new magic cream. I was shook when I heard that she was launching a new magic cream because I was like, what? Really? Why? The original magic cream is amazing, but all will be revealed very, very soon. So I was invited to Charlotte's Zoom call recently, a virtual press event, and I was kindly gifted the new magic cream, and I learned so much about it, so I thought I had to tell you guys. Recently, I also reviewed Charlotte Tilbury's airbrush foundation, powder, and bronzer, so I'll link that below. I'm wearing the foundation now, and honestly, it has revolutionized my life. I highly, highly, highly recommend that. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna go straight in. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on Charlotte's new magic cream, tell you everything about it. I get so many questions about her original magic cream anyway, so it makes sense for me to do a video and talk to you about them both. Let's go. So Charlotte's Original Magic Cream was actually one of the first products I bought from Charlotte Tilbury. I got it from Charlotte Tilbury and Leeds and I literally fangirled. I got this product because I was told that it's a product that Charlotte Tilbury used to use on the Victoria's Secret Angels and kind of all models and celebrities. It's kind of like a rich moisturizer that instantly makes everyone's face glowing and hydrated, even if like they sit down in the model's chair and their skin's very dry. It's kind of like an instant turnaround and it works as a primer. I think it's very rich but it is like one of those really nice moisturizers. I personally actually would prefer it as a night cream even though a lot of people like to use it as like a primer. I know people that use this day and night. The new Magic Cream Light packaging has got a lot of people talking. I think people were expecting that it was gonna be the same premium packaging as the original Magic Cream. And I think that would have been nice because I think this looks gorgeous in the bathroom and stacking them up. So I stack up the Magic Eye Cream on top and the Magic Night Cream. It would just look absolutely gorgeous. However, I did see one of Charlotte's makeup is saying that this is really good for men as well. I mean, so is this one. But I don't think they want the packaging to be like super feminine. And it's one of those things that I personally don't think the packaging is feminine. I personally just don't think it matters. And I think that all products are, you know, for both genders. However, I did see someone say that they thought that this was a really good product for men. So I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe that's why they've gone for this packaging. Some people said it reminds them of an aerosol can. But both of them have 50 ml in they just look a little bit different. But Charlotte's probably envisioning that people are gonna have this one and this one in their lives anyway. So, this magic cream is designed to be a lightweight miracle moisturizer. I mean, it's got the signature gold lid, rose gold lid, which I love. I think it feels very premium, actually. I actually quite like the packaging. And it is just lightweight. I would say that this is a perfect daytime, morning, full day hydration moisturizer. So this feels very kind of silk-like, very satiny on the skin, and it feels like an instant rush of hydration. Whereas the original Magic Cream for me feels a lot more opulent, more rich, kind of very special, but I personally don't use this every day. I know people do and they swear by it, but for me this is like an every single day. My skin also loves drinking things. It loves kind of like lightweight things that are super hydrating, so maybe that's why I like this one. So Charlotte's Magic Cream Light has an SPF of 20, and it also protects against UVA and UVB rays. That means it's gonna protect against burning, and it's also going to protect against anti-aging and that kind of stuff. Also protects against blue light, so your phone and your laptop, which apparently are aging as well. I mean, who knew? That is madness. I'm gonna look 60 by next week because I'm on my phone for like 20 hours a day. And also it protects against pollution, which is super important, particularly if you live in a busy city like I do. I personally use an anti-pollutant product by Elizabeth Arden every morning while I'm going out anyway. I'll link that below because I want to feel like I'm protected from pollution. But this baby does it all. So what I want to say about the SPF is one thing Charlotte said on her talk on Zoom is that it's really, really hard to get a high level SPF with the actives that she has in this product. So it's not that like you can just bang an SPF 50 in and then have all the skincare as well. So what I would say personally for me, I really like to be very high on my SPF and this is a totally new thing for me. It's only about two years ago that I realized that SPF is important and it is a daily thing that you should be putting on your skin every single day if you are leaving the door. So I would actually still put my daily SPF on first. I'm gonna show you the two I've been using and then I'd layer this over the top. That's a great thing about skincare. You can layer it over the top. And I saw Charlotte's makeup artist saying that she puts a Charlotte Tilbury serum on first and then she puts this over. It's all about thinking what your skin needs and doubling up. So the two SPFs that I use, literally foolproof, 
Kiehl's Ultra Light Daily UV Defense, SPF 50, high protection and anti-pollution, it's insane. And then Skin SkinCeuticals, SPF 50, high protection, brightening UV defense sunscreen. I would put one of those on first, all down to my neck and everything let it sink in and then put this over just because I personally want to know I've got SPF 50 on and I want a proper SPF to do that but if you want all in one and you're not bothered about it being SPF 50 this is good for you so it protects against pollution it protects against UVA UVB protects against blue light and it hydrates it pretty much does everything Charlotte said she's been working on this for at least two years and I know it feels like wow all of these products are just like suddenly happening but a lot of work and research goes into it. She had one of her scientists on the Zoom chat and I was like, this is sick. Like for me as a beauty lover, I love hearing from the scientists. It's not like they just put potions together and a product's just born. That's what you're paying for. You really are paying for like premium ingredients. So this boosts the skin by 183% apparently when it comes to hydration. They've done clinical studies and that is a lot. And it apparently boosts the skin for up to 24 hours, which is fantastic because it feels so lightweight. I'm like, how does it boost my skin by that much? But you can kind of tell when you put it on because it feels so like satin-like and just divine. And it's meant to boost the skin by that 183% in just one hour, which is literal madness. So in terms of texture, it comes out a lot thinner, obviously, than the original Magic Cream, which is like a thick cream. And it sinks in actually really nicely. It's qu quite milky, I would say, on the skin. I hate wasting stuff like this on my hands. It still has that gorgeous holiday scent that the original Magic Cream has, which I absolutely love. And you're meant to just kind of massage it into the skin. So it does say on the packet how you're meant to put it onto the skin. So you can give yourself kind of like a mini facial. So it's like a really luxury experience when you're applying it on the morning. So it says, boost your complexion by starting from the lower cheek, sweep the cream out and up, tap fingertips, the Tilbury tip. Um, across cheeks, avoiding the eye contour, Define contours, placing fingers under cheekbones, then smooth outwards and upwards along the cheekbones. Define the jawline, gently pinch the chin with your fingers, not sure about that one. Moving up your jawline in one sweeping motion, then smooth the forehead, starting in the middle of the forehead, massage in circular motions, moving out to the temples and pat any excess with your finger. Ringer. Ring finger. I have been doing moisturizer all wrong, ladies and gents, because I certainly do not do that. I just apply it to my face and pow. I don't know if it makes any difference applying it in the Tilbury way, but I'm certainly gonna try it and see. Honestly, my hands smell amazing and they really do look divine. Like my skin looks divine. That's what I'd say. That's why I'm putting overlays over this video so you can kind of see it on my skin with no makeup on. I really wanna show you what it does to the skin. But yeah, that's the kind of way to do your Charlotte Tilbury five minute facial massage at home, which is quite a nice well-being way to start your morning, I would say. So let's have a look at what ingredients are actually in the magic cream because maybe you're like me and you like the science. It's obviously got the UVA and UVB sun defense, which I've already talked about. Then it's got the ultimate blue light shield to get rid of kind of like anything from blue light. Then it's got an ingredient called Replexium, which is meant to be a breakthrough peptide for laser anti-aging. I mean, sounds wacky, sounds crazy, but I trust in the Tilbury and I'm sure it does what it says on the tin. Then she always puts lots of nice natural things in her products, which is why I think they smell so nice. So this one has cream seed oil to keep the skin feeling smooth, moist and supple, coconut alkanes, I love anything coconutty. Vitamin E, which is a genius conditioning and and moisturizing product, City Stem, which is the powerful urban pollution defense matrix. But what we really want to know is, does this actually work? So the user trial found that 92% said their skin looks younger. I mean, personally, I think that's a load of tosh because you can't really tell if your skin looks younger until you get late down the line. And someone always said to me that with anti-aging products, it's preventative. So rather than getting wrinkles and then being like, oh my gosh, I need an anti-aging product, you should start it now. So I can't, I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, oh my God, my skin looks so much younger because it's just not gonna work like that. But these people say that their skin looks younger and 98% agree that their skin feels nourished and hydrated. So yeah, it is pretty magical. Did she need to bring another magic cream out? Originally I was like, no, the magic cream is a hero, bestseller, absolute cult product that so many people swear by, but I would say it's so different. I would say it has that kind of lovely smell and the moisturizing properties, but to me it is actually a different product. I know it's like a tweak of her bestseller, but this for me is a summer morning, 
humid, sticky, hot temperatures it's meant to be great for. I know quite a lot of you live in Dubai. I mean, it will be fantastic for you. Something that I would take in my travel bag and I would ensure that I was employ I would ensure I was applying it on a morning if I was in Barbados or something. I know that my skin is just going to drink it up and absolutely love it, but I would be popping it with an SPF 50 and maybe another kind of serum as well, just because when I saw Charlotte's expert talking about this she said that she likes to put the serum on first and then pop this over the top and that's a great great thing about skincare you really can level them up and layer it up so you're nice and yummy and hydrated for 24 hours so to conclude great for summer great for sunshine lightweight divine so dewy sinks right into the skin doesn't block the pores we know a lot of SPS block the pores as well and it doesn't block the pores but just feels utterly divine and smells great does so much for you UVA UVB anti-pollution anti-blue light anti everything literally this one the original is a hero for me it's a lot richer a lot more opulent thicker creamier so if you are someone that likes more lightweight things maybe your skin might be a little bit oilier this one will be for you, I would say. But I just think it's great. I'm gonna test out my boyfriend as well. So there we have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, everything is linked under the video. And if you'd like any more reviews, any more videos from me, just let me know. I'm gonna go smell my hands now. Also say hi on Instagram at mshellax. Big love, guys.